prelude to a musical genius. Ludwig van Beethoven, a celebrated composer of Western music, stands as a monumental figure in the chronicles of musical history. Born in 1770 in Bonn, Germany, he displayed prodigious talent from a young age, showcasing exceptional abilities in both piano playing and composition. Throughout his distinguished career, Beethoven's abundant creative output encompassed an expansive and diverse range of musical styles, including symphonies, concertos, chamber music, and songs. His bold and inventive approach to musical form set his work apart, transcending conventional limits and setting the stage for future composers to follow in his footsteps. Facing a multitude of personal hardships, such as hearing loss and financial difficulties, Beethoven persisted in creating music that was both exquisite and deeply emotive. His enduring legacy has fascinated audiences for over two centuries, captivating musicians and music enthusiasts alike with its ageless allure. Today, Beethoven's music maintains its immense popularity and significance, resonating throughout various aspects of popular culture, from films and television shows to video games and commercials. This biography aims to offer a thorough and engaging exploration of Beethoven's life and lasting impact, delving into the enigmatic character of the man behind the music and shedding light on the far-reaching influence of his extraordinary accomplishments. A Melodic Childhood and Musical Education Ludwig van Beethoven's life commenced on December 16, 1770, in the city of Bonn, Germany. Born into a lineage of musicians, his father, Johann, served as a court musician and singer, while his mother, Maria, also hailed from a musical family. Beethoven's upbringing was marred by adversity and sorrow, with his father frequently absent and his mother plagued by poor health. Despite these obstacles, Beethoven exhibited an innate musical prowess and started taking piano lessons at the young age of four. Before long, he was under the tutelage of Christian Gottlieb Niffy, a conductor and composer who acknowledged Beethoven's extraordinary talent and fostered his musical growth. Guided by Niffy, Beethoven's abilities as a pianist and composer flourished rapidly. His virtuosic playing and inventive approach to composition, which often integrated surprising harmonies in non-traditional forms, quickly earned him acclaim. In 1787, a daring 17-year-old Beethoven journeyed to Vienna, the European epicenter of music, in pursuit of new opportunities and a chance to study under the eminent composer Joseph Haydn. Despite his youth and limited formal education, Beethoven was resolute in making an impression on the musical world. Upon reaching Vienna, Beethoven introduced himself to Haydn, hoping to secure a place as his student. Initially doubtful of Beethoven's capabilities, Haydn was eventually won over by his talent and consented to provide him with several lessons, which proved instrumental in advancing Beethoven's musical education. Over the subsequent years, Beethoven studied with several other renowned composers in Vienna, including Johann George Albrechtsberger and Antonio Salieri. He also delved into the city's lively musical atmosphere, attending concerts, performances, and becoming acquainted with fellow musicians and composers. During this period, Beethoven continued to hone his skills as both a pianist and composer, experimenting with novel techniques and forms while cultivating his distinct musical voice. His early compositions, such as Piano Sonata No. 8, Op. 13, and Symphony No. 1, showcased an impressive level of ingenuity and sophistication solidifying his status as an emerging luminary in Vienna's musical landscape. Despite his initial triumphs, Beethoven confronted various challenges in his career, including financial struggles, familial responsibilities, and fierce competition within Vienna's music scene. However, his talent and tenacity ultimately garnered recognition and praise, laying the foundation for the extraordinary career that awaited him. Early Adulthood and Artistic Pursuits Despite his remarkable talent and unwavering resolve, 
Beethoven encountered numerous obstacles as a young composer attempting to make his mark in the highly competitive music scene of Vienna. Lacking connections or a family fortune to support him, he had no choice but to depend entirely on his own abilities and diligence to forge his reputation. Initially, Beethoven struggled to gain a foothold in the exclusive Viennese music circles, as he was perceived as an outsider and an upstart by numerous established composers and patrons. Undeterred, he persevered, working relentlessly to refine his craft and create works of extraordinary beauty and inventiveness. During this period, Beethoven composed several renowned pieces that showcased his exceptional skill and garnered him acclaim. Among these are the Moonlight Sonata, an eerily enchanting piano piece that highlights his mastery of melody and emotion, and Fidelio, a stirring opera that delves into themes of justice, liberty, and heroism. Symphony No. 5 and iconic masterpieces Symphony No. 5 in C minor, Op. 67, stands as one of Ludwig van Beethoven's most renowned and revered compositions. Created between 1804 and 1808, this symphony debuted in Vienna in December of the latter year. Its powerful and striking four-note motif opening has become one of classical music's most instantly recognizable themes. Composing the Fifth Symphony proved to be a lengthy and arduous endeavor for Beethoven. During this time, he grappled with personal and professional challenges, such as deteriorating hearing, financial woes, and a tumultuous romantic relationship. Nonetheless, he remained steadfast in his creativity, infusing his music with his emotions and struggles. Some of his most distinguished works include the Moonlight Sonata, the Emperor Concerto, and the Opera Fidelio. The Moonlight Sonata, officially titled Piano Sonata No. 14 in C-sharp minor, Op. 27, No. 2, is an enchanting piece that exhibits Beethoven's aptitude for conveying profound emotion through music. Composed in 1801, it was dedicated to Beethoven's student, Countess Giulietta Gicciardi. The first movement of the sonata is arguably the most famous, characterized by its gentle, mesmerizing melody and melancholic tone. In the Moonlight Sonata, Beethoven employs an innovative approach to harmony and structure, using nuanced shifts in key and tempo to generate a dreamlike, ethereal ambience. This piece demonstrates his ability to evoke potent emotions and moods through his music and has become one of the most cherished and recognizable works in the classical repertoire. The Emperor Concerto, formally titled Piano Concerto No. 5 in E-flat major, op. 73, is another of Beethoven's celebrated compositions. Crafted in 1809, it was dedicated to Archduke Rudolf of Austria, a patron and friend of the composer. The concerto is acclaimed for its grandiosity and intricacy, featuring virtuosic piano sections and orchestral accompaniment. Fidelio, the opera, embodies Beethoven's unwavering artistic vision and political ideals. Composed between 1804 and 1814, the opera narrates the story of Leonore, a woman who disguises herself as a man to liberate her husband from wrongful imprisonment. The opera extols freedom, justice, and human dignity, garnering praise for its emotive music and inspiring message. It highlights Beethoven's dedication to social justice and his faith in the capacity of individual courage and determination to bring about change in the world. Throughout his oeuvre, Beethoven continually transcended the limitations of traditional musical forms and styles, experimenting with innovative techniques and expressing his distinct artistic voice. Beethoven's Deafness and Personal Journey One of the most heart-rending events in Beethoven's life was the gradual deterioration of his hearing, which began in his late 20s and ultimately led to total deafness. This affliction not only profoundly impacted his personal life, but also his musical career. As a gifted pianist, Beethoven's deafness hindered his ability to perform and collaborate with other musicians. Despite this, he persevered and composed some of his most remarkable works, including his Ninth Symphony, while entirely deaf. 
Beethoven's hearing loss also significantly influenced his personal life. He grew increasingly isolated, and his relationships with family, friends, and romantic partners became strained. His already challenging temperament intensified, and he frequently lashed out at those around him. Occasionally, his despair and illness became so overwhelming that he contemplated suicide. However, Beethoven pressed on, creating some of his most renowned works during this tumultuous period of his life. In spite of his hardships, Beethoven maintained several close relationships throughout his life. He had a particularly strong bond with his younger brother, Johann, and his nephew, Karl, whom he attempted to adopt. He also had numerous close friends, such as Anton Schindler, a young musician and music historian who became Beethoven's personal assistant and biographer. Beethoven experienced several romantic relationships as well, though none led to marriage. Perhaps the most famous of these was his immortal beloved, an enigmatic woman to whom Beethoven penned a fervent love letter in 1812. The identity of this woman remains uncertain, but theories propose that it could have been Antony Brentano, a married woman with whom Beethoven shared a close friendship. In summary, Beethoven's personal life was characterized by immense suffering but also by tremendous creativity and determination. Despite his deafness and complex personality, he continued to compose some of the most cherished works in the classical music repertoire. His legacy as a musical prodigy and a symbol of the indomitable human spirit remains unparalleled. Late Period and Enduring Legacy Beethoven's late period is widely regarded as one of the most groundbreaking and profound phases of his illustrious career. Despite his deteriorating hearing and waning health, he persevered in creating a series of extraordinary works that expanded the horizons of musical expression and technique. Arguably the most famous of these creations is his Ninth Symphony, which boasts an immense choral finale that brings Friedrich Schiller's poem Ode to Joy to life through music. The symphony is a tour de force of emotional intensity, harmonic intricacy, and inventive orchestration, remaining one of the most adored and frequently performed works in the classical repertoire. Besides the Ninth Symphony, Beethoven's late period also encompasses his late quartets, a collection of string quartets widely regarded as some of the most profound and demanding works in the classical canon. These quartets are distinguished by their unconventional forms, intricate textures, and exploration of themes such as transcendence, spirituality, and human suffering. Beethoven's impact on music and culture throughout the 19th and 20th centuries was immense, with his music serving as a touchstone for countless subsequent composers and musicians. His influence can be discerned in the works of romantic composers like Brahms and Wagner, as well as in the modernist endeavors of composers like Stravinsky and Schoenberg. Beyond his musical influence, Beethoven also became a lasting symbol of artistic genius and creativity, with his image and persona inspiring innumerable writers, artists, and filmmakers. His poignant life story, marked by struggles with deafness, illness, and personal relationships, has made him an emblematic figure of the Romantic era. His music continues to enchant and inspire audiences worldwide. In a time dominated by technology and the pursuit of instant gratification, Beethoven's music serves as a reminder of the lasting significance of human creativity and the timeless allure of art that resonates with the depths of our souls. As we continue to cherish and honor Beethoven's life and enduring legacy, we are reminded of the importance of following our passions and employing our talents to make the world a more beautiful and inspiring place.